Hey everyone, it's Bailey, and today we are doing another empties video. So I used up a good amount of products. My bag isn't as full as it usually is with these, but I just checked, and the last time I did one of these empties videos, it was at the end of June before I moved. And now it's the end of September, so I think it's time. So just like looking in here, I have a lot of hair stuff and a lot of skincare, so if that's your cup of tea, I think you're going to like the video. And we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so the first thing that is right on top is my oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena. If you have been watching my channel or at least my empties videos for a while, you know that this is pretty much always in my empties videos. It's my ultimate favorite eye makeup remover. It's super effective, it's super gentle, and it's really affordable, so we love it. Honestly, I don't know what else to say besides the fact that it's fantastic, amazing, perfection, and if you haven't tried it, you totally should. Next thing we have is this adorable hair mask. This is from Briogeo, and this is their Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. And this came out last year for holiday, and it took me so long to use this up because I was very conservative with how often I used it because, I don't know, I just thought it was like special, limited edition. I didn't just want to burn through it like I do with a lot of hair masks. But when I actually started using it more consistently, I was surprised with how far it really did go. And now actually looking through the packaging. There's still a little bit left. I think I could get one more use out of it. The one thing about this product is as cute as the packaging is because it is adorable. It's kind of hard to get all the product out. So I think if I stand them upside down, I'll be able to get the last little bits out and then he'll be truly empty because yeah, there's still, there's still like his feet are halfway full, so there's still a little bit in here. But overall, it's pretty much empty, and I do like this hair mask. It's pretty much their Don't Despair Repair hair mask, but honey-scented, and I thought it smelled really, really good, and I think it's a good hair mask. It's not super, super heavy where it weighs down your hair, but it's still super effective, so this is really good. And honestly, I wish this wasn't limited edition because it smells really good, and the packaging is really cute, but... You know, I'm not in charge, so I can't make those decisions. All right, next thing we have is from Loving Proof, and this is their Nourishing Styling Cream. It stops frizz and lightly conditions, and I've gone through a couple of these. I always seem to get them in my Fat Fit Fun box, which I'm not complaining because I do like this product. I think it's a good lightweight conditioner that does help with frizz. Now, my hair has been giving me so much trouble lately. I'm going to do a whole video talking about my hair struggles, which I think may come before this one. If it is, I'll link it for you. But before my hair started totally going haywire on me, I did really like this. Um, it's a good just styling cream, adds a little bit of moisture, helps with frizz. Is it a miracle worker? No. But does it help? Absolutely. All right, I have not one, but two brow products that I have used up pretty much. Uh, the first one is the brow pencil that I've been using. It feels like for freaking years. This is seriously the never ending brow pencil. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie brow pencil. And this is just pretty much your standard brow pencil that has more of a triangular well, actually, this one's more like a rectangular tip, and I thought that this was fine, but it wasn't anything amazing. And if you're somebody who doesn't have naturally full brows like I do, then this probably wouldn't work for you because you don't have a lot of control or precision with it since it is a rectangle shape. But if you are just looking to quickly fill in what you already have, it worked fine. But over the years of using a lot of different brow products, I have learned that brow products are kind of like mascara. You can spend a little bit more and get a good product, but the stuff at the drugstore is essentially the exact same, so you might as well save money where you can. And I don't plan on repurchasing this just because there are good drugstore options. I actually have one ready to go from CoverGirl, which I've already used up one before, and that one's really, really good. I like better than this one, so better product, better price. Yeah, pretty, pretty obvious on that one. But I mean, if you have this in your collection, it's not bad, but it's not the best. And then the other one that I have is from Stila, and the writing is totally worn off. I think it's their, like, stale day brow thing. Yeah, that's definitely it, the stale day brow thing. Um, but no, this is a liquid brow pencil, and I like this, but it's not like the easiest to use. Like when you initially open it up and use it on like the first half of your brow, it looks really good. But then the tip dries out and it doesn't like refill fast enough. Then you try to do the rest of this brow and it's like kind of working, kind of not. Then you get to this brow and nothing's coming out. So it's good in theory, but it's just like not the best 
packaging, I don't know, you just don't get enough product coming out of this tip. So this was kind of a bust, like it could have been real good, but it's just something's not working in here. All right, moving on, I have a shampoo and just dropped my bag. Um, anyways, I have a shampoo and conditioner. This is from Nexus, and this is their Carefix Damage Healing Protein Fusion Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I got this as a travel size sample in like some box years ago, and my hair reacted so well to that travel size sample. I mean, it was like smooth, which, you know, my hair, it, it's frizzy. It's just, it's always been frizzy, always will be frizzy. It's just packed to life. So once I used up that sample size, I got the full size, and it honestly didn't give me like the same results. I don't know why. <laughs> I was so excited, and when I washed my hair the first time with the full size, it just wasn't the same. I mean, it wasn't bad, but the results with the travel size, for some reason, were so fantastic. I don't know what went wrong, but uh, yeah, I would not repurchase this just because it was just average. Okay, only one thing actually fell out of the bag, so we'll talk about this. This is from Biosense, and this is their Squalene and Phyto Retinol Serum. Now, this isn't a real, real, like, vitamin A retinol. It is a, what do they call it, like, a natural alternative or something, and I thought it was fine. I honestly didn't see, like, the best, most crazy results out there. So not only were the results not, like, anything to write home about. The packaging isn't my favorite because for some reason you can't get every bit out of here. It drives me nuts because there's a lot of product still left in here that the pump simply can't get to. So that's a little disappointing and it's not like it's a cheap product by any means. So um, if you're looking for retinol, I think there are better options out there. And if you're wanting to try something from this brand, I would go with their vitamin C and rose oil. I really enjoyed that and their eye gel cream stuff. That's really good. I'd skip on this. Okay, moving on, I have a cleanser. Y'all already know, this is an all-time favorite. It's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is awesome. If you're looking for a good, gentle cleanse, this is it. It's a little pricey, but it works. It's beautiful. I love it. And I have a body moisturizer. This is from the brand Human and Kind, and this is their body souffle. I got this from a Fat Fit Fun Box, and I actually really, really liked it. It is like a cucumber melon scent, which just brought me back to the days when cucumber melon was still a thing at Bath and Body Works, and the lotion itself was a really nice consistency. And if I sell this in stores, I'd buy it again, but I don't think that they sell it in stores. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was nice. I enjoyed it. Okay, I have two moisturizers, both from Kate Somerville. The first one is their Delicate Recovery Cream, and Delicate is their newest line for skincare that's super gentle and focuses on repairing your moisture barrier. There's a couple things in this range, and I've tried two of them on both of them. I really, really like, and first one being this cream. It is very rich but very lightweight all at the same time. When I put it on, my skin just drank it up and I had no issues with my skin having any flaky bits or looking super irritated, I guess is a good way to put it. My skin just really liked this and I'm sad I ran out of it, but I just bought the smaller size to try it. And let me tell you, it's really good. Even on the packaging, it says it's a stress skin saver which it is. And let me tell you, when I stopped using this and I started using the Drunk Elephant, I think it's their Proteiny Moisturizer, skin's not quite the same. So all I'm saying, all I'm saying. And the other moisturizer is also from Kate Somerville, and this is their Nourish Daily Moisturizer. It's pretty basic, simple, everyday moisturizer. I would use it in the morning because it was lightweight and would absorb really quickly. I thought it was fine, but if I had to pick between spending money on like a really nice moisturizer, I would go with the Delicate just because it gave me a little bit more. This is just pretty basic. All right, I have two mascaras that I used up. The first one is from Pixi, and this is their Large Lash Mascara. I actually really like this. Pixi makeup can be definitely hit or miss for me, but this was a pretty good hit, I gotta say. It made my lashes look nice and fluffy, but still very natural, which I like because my makeup style lately has been bare minimum just because, you know, 2020. This is what the wand looks like. It is big and fluffy and pretty much like a traditional just fat mascara wand and it would just give me a really pretty big lash look without being super super chunky or heavy. I don't know it just just did that. I liked it. 
And then the other mascara that I used up is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. This is their five star mascara. I got this as a Christmas gift or something. This one was also really good. It gave a little bit more volume than the Pixie one, but I mean their wands are totally different. And I also like this one, but for the price, I don't think I'd repurchase it unless it came in like a gift set or something. But it was nice. It was just pricey very pricey okay just three more things all skincare first one is from the inky list this is their lactic acid really really like this i would use this as my acid obviously in my skincare routine at night and i really enjoyed it lactic acid is a very gentle acid so you can use it if you have more sensitive skin and you want to use it a little bit more frequently for me personally i never irritated my skin and i would use it almost every single night and it made my skin look nice and radiant and the inky list is very 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 affordable so that is awesome if you're somebody who has more sensitive skin and say like a glycolic acid might be a little much for you I would say try lactic acid it's just a little bit more gentle but still very effective uh, next I used to have a whole facial oil which is a big deal because facial oils take forever to go through I don't care how small the packaging is at least for me I just use one little dropper and put it all over my face and I'm done so it takes so long for me to use this up but I did and I'm really proud of myself so this one is from Good Molecules and this is their pure cold press rose hip seed oil and I love this little oil I'm using another one from Good Molecules right now I think it's like they're ultra hydrating or something. It's just not the same as this one. I don't know what it is about rosehip seed oil, but apparently my skin loves it. It was radiant, it was hydrated, it wasn't oily. It was just perfection and good molecules like the Inky List is super, super affordable. So go get you some, this is good. And then finally, oh, we're gonna kind of end on like a not so fantastic note. <laughs> Whoops. So this is from Tula and this is their Aqua Infusion Oil Gel Cream. Now this wasn't bad, but Tula is one of those brands that every single like mommy blogger out there is sponsored by and like raves about, but it's not very good. Like this is probably the best Tula product that I've tried and it was only like average. So uh, yeah, I would not recommend. Not that this was bad. But there are just so many better options out there. Like, so many better options. So this was just like, meh, meh, meh. Okay, everyone. So those are all of the products that I have used up the past couple months. This is probably my latest empties video I've done in a while. But I think it's probably because I haven't really been wearing makeup. But I've been using the same skincare, so I don't know what's up with that. But, you know... Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Um, I'll definitely continue to collect my beauty trash for next time. I know I have a few products I'm like so close to being done with, but I wanted to go ahead and film this. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. If you like these empties videos, be sure to check out my playlist so you can see more of the products I've used up and what I've thought of them. Or if you just want to watch a different video of mine, I'll put something else down here for you. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It makes my day every single time and I would greatly appreciate it. But with that said, I gotta go and I will see y'all next time.